Hello everybody and welcome back to Usurper. In the last time we defeated the Eater of Fogs, was it? Yeah, head of the Fog, uh, fog Eater and we found the blood of the Citadel. The Citadel will obey any and all orders. Which now means we have to go for the final boss. The navigator is waiting for us. Also, we got the cool ability to fly. Yeah. So, how is this? The Citadel obeys everyone. How to use? How to um I have no clue how to activate. Obviously this is the way to go, but Wow, we died 48 times. Hey, we died eight, uh, we died perfectly for each level we got one time. Is it on? It is on. Maybe we can enter through the arena. We haven't been to the Colosseum and the military tract right now. Let's try to get there. I think it was way down here. And... There we go! Alright. Oh no. Stupid. It's down here. Long fall is long. There we go. Straight to the beginning. And do I need to go another way? Nope. Bugger off. Let's go to the throne room. Wow, okay. Hmm. Can we get in here yet? No, we can. You have something to say? Congratulations, my lord. You have defeated your final opposition before uh, the navigator. The citadel shall now belong to Warlord Wartham soon. Oh, what's this? Are you perhaps sad your collaboration shall come to an end? Have you come to realize the value in such partnership? That thing I saw. Are you sure I should not tell the queen? Certainly not. Under no circumstances are you to reveal my identity to anyone, not even my most loyal servants. You're asking kind of a lot. Well, now you know that uh, you should honor my requests. So I ask you, not as your tenant, but as your lord, do not reveal my identity to anyone, not even your sweet Lenatia. Swear on your title, as the servant of the Empire. I swear, for I am Saragath, fourth knight of the Angelic Empire of Britannia. I will keep my word, Alf Waltham. Thank you, Saragath. Are the lords alright? 
having second thoughts about the path ahead. No, nothing of the sorts. I just got distracted. Let's move on and end the navigator for good. May the Lord Waltham's rule be long and prosperous for the Citadel. Yes. Well, he's quite serious about others finding not finding out who he is. Mr. Lovecraft, what do you have to say? Oh, okay, it's the story about not doing this. Alright. I think that was this way. Have I opened this chest? Yes, I haven't. I have. Nope. Die. And die. Thank you. Oh, I never went... I did went this way, alright. But I could never go here. For just a new thief stone. Well, that's disappointing. Um, from the... Uh, we are at... We are currently here. And we want to go right and the... Oh. I have never been to the Cathedral of the Tape, I think. Let's try going there first. Oh, how do I exit the menus again? There we go. Okay. Nope. Focus Maximilian. Or Maxilan. Nope. I won't have anything to say in your standoff. Oh no. I done goofed. There we go. No, I did not see him. It's pretty dark. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Do I have a fast way from here to there where I want to go? No. Oh crap. There we go. Ah. Uh, ah, I did it again. I did it again. Casually falling. There we go. This time it will be a bit quicker. There we go. And... How are you? That's the beating heart. Um, no, there wasn't... Anything of use. Do I care about... Yeah. Let's go this way again, but this time... Keep an eye on our... Hey, keep an eye out. On the enemy. Not you. There we go. Got our Vitae. There we go. Wow, he's hard to see. He's very hard to see. And do we have to go further up? I can go in here. 
Some, uh, someone seems to be unhealthily fascinated with the navigator. Why? What? Why is a painting of Her Majesty here? It looks like one uh, of the defaced ones from the manor. You. All right. Okay, we are at the cathedral. Oh, that's the cathedral. Ah. Wait, cathedral goes up into the bell tower. Have we? No, we haven't been up there. We got the manor side. We couldn't have been there. We need the double jump. I see a giant bell tower above. It seems a giant sword is lodged at the top. Yeah. Now we can explore the bell tower. Ouch. Settings. No. Ah, crap. I next time I should really wait. Can I? Can't I? What's the fastest way there? There has to be a faster way. It's really hard to see the enemies in the, these settings. Alright. Can I get... To the bell tower any faster? I don't think so. No, but I can take a way which gives me a respawn nearby. Get through here. Go here. And up we go. Save the game at this point. Thank you. And from here on we can go left. And get booped. We can finally destroy these. Wait, the Cerebrum is gone. Our Cerebrum friend is away. And I think there was... Yes. There was this. There we go. Collect the Vitae. Let me guess another stone. Another stone. Well, there's uh, this area cleared. Couldn't traverse the fog before. Get you down. 
and I will actually try to... There we go. Get inside. Hey Cthulhu. Ah, there we go. I hate these grayed out areas. It's a bit too hard to see enemies. Where is he? There we go. There we go. Can I... Bonk the door? The bell? No. Oh, there's another bell. No. Nothing here. Interesting. Oh, there's an exit. I didn't saw that. Let's go. New area. Ah, definitely we need this. And where do we get this way? Uh, I think the giant sword is way up. And we are at the arena, it seems. Is that really... Wait. Oh, we could have gone here. Okay. So now we know the way back if we should get lost. Okay, but we made big progress. Finding out in this game where to go is... Actually, pretty hard. There we go. And the only option is to go up. Oh, ah, you. What the hell? A skull rapier. Rapier made of a skull and a spine. Quite disturbing, but incredibly sharp, and the skull makes for an excellent guard. Has B elders, Eldritch scaling, and S... Well, it's, it's a decent weapon. Okay, it's you guys again. Aww. I thought I could cheese it. Open the chest. Nope, nope, nope. Whatever they would do, I, I will not find out. I don't want to find out what they do. The clockwork, uh, the clock seems to be missing for some reason. The gears have stopped entirely. What kind of... Oh no. There we go. Fool's chest. And there we go. Two down. Someone up here? Yes, we have Itai. Oh. I will cheese that. I, I won't deal with screamers. And the music is awfully happy. Which I don't like. There we go. Um, another... A sharp greatsword. Sword. 
the, defin the definition of a greatsword. Perfectly cut, strong, flexible and most importantly, it's light. Swing to your heart's content. Uh, where is our current weapon? There. 80 base and it's ADDCD. SADCC and 90. Wow. That's a freaking upgrade. And it looks semi stylish. Oh, there we go. You dropped your shield. Uh, okay. I'm getting awful lot of Vitae around here. Awfully lot. And stones, it's like... It's like the game wants to prepare us for the final battle. Oop. Did we just do 400 damage plus? Yep. Um, our error number, we have uh, damage 404. Error, damage not found. Holy heck, this is paying off. We are level 48. And our strength stat is currently at 20. Out of the soft cap, 30. Oop. Oh no! Is it shorter? Come on. And what do we have here? Oh, there is all fog. Okay. Pretty interesting. There we go. Hey, you... Oh, sneaky. Okay. This seems to be leaving the area. Beyond here is the private red... Oh. That's said by Waltham. So there is the navigators. No! Shut up. I hate these guys. Oh. Now we have opened that. Alright. Let's just gently fly to the other side and... Let our guard recharge before that. I think I found out what these guys do. I have found out that these guys are pretty awful. Wait, are these weapons? These are... These are flags? 
they oh, wow we have found to wait our way to the armory but i will gently fly the other way because we have two more level and i think level 50 is a pretty good level to fight the final boss presumably final boss i have to add All right. Level up. Let's get two more points in strength. Save the game. And now, let's head to the navigator. Oh no. I will just drop here. Oh, to open is the blood required. Nothing like an oversized painting to stroke one's own ego. Looks like this was walled in quickly and recent. Wait, what? This is a whole new level. I don't want to go through doors right now. So the navigator has its own garden of in this infestation of egg-like mass. You. No, and further shall go. There we go. Open chest. A grim scythe. Uh, oh, we had the navigator daggers also. Navigator daggers. These amazing daggers were crafted uh, from, for the navigator to use. Or oh, these were his kitchen knives. Either or, they still are excellent. Ancient looking scythe, similar to the one used by Len's servant. In. Uh, con it conjures up terrifying memories of the Black Plague. Oh. Okay. Get there. We go. Hmm. All of these are incredibly valuable volumes, all from restricted sections. Restricted sections of what exactly? Oh, the sealed off room. Spike spear. Qualifies as a lance rather than a spear, but it opens massive wounds and its extra spikes guaranteed further devastation. An excellent weapon. Yeah, now we're getting into territory of escalating weapons. I see you. All right. Trigger you. Kill you. Travel. What? All right. And cucumber. Cucumber down. Beware of killer cucumbers. There we go. Oh. Navigator, navigate me. All right. I really don't know what I want with the ETH stones at this point right now, but... I think this is our final travel. Yeah. And 
This is it. He's just beyond here. Ready? Wait. What is it? Are you hesitating? No. Never mind. Just keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. He is the navigator. He is by far the most dangerous thing on the citadel. I will. We can do this. Alright. I have my dodge. I have my guard. I have my sword. I'll recharge my guard meter. Let's do this. Welcome, human. My name is Achtagul Vistarin Lagna. Well, as close as it can be translated to your tongue. I am the lord and overseer of this citadel you have been assaulting. I am Saragat Naraya, fourth knight of the Angelic Empire of Britannia. I am here on orders of Queen and Empress of the Realm, Eleanor the Reborn. You are to surrender to remove the citadel from here immediately and surrender yourself to the Empire for judgment. Rather civilized for a simple race of lower life forms. Well, unfortunately, I must humbly decline. After all, my citadel was invited here by your former king. There shall be a great feast, much more grand and beautiful than the one that beckoned us here. Allow me to put this into terms even primitives like you can understand. You are all to be the meal for my citadel, starting with you. That's it. Show your medal. No. What is he doing? Wait, what? You won't survive this time. I won't die here. Where did he go? Follow him through the stone. Don't give him a second to recover. Chase after him, right now. Fly after him. Do not let him get away at any cost. He is trying to release his seals and trap us in his own pocket dimension. He cannot get away now. Don't worry, we'll catch him. Um, that's it. This is a do or die situation. I won't let him run again. What? Not only did you hide in the boy, but you had another copy ready? How could this be? You have severely underestimated us. That which does not grow falls into decay. You are herb you are herbal released of your services of the citadel. Die It's done. How come there are two of you? I told you, the cradle was giving birth to my new body. But I thought you would transplant your mind or brain into the new body. That is not how this works. I am a perfect copy of my old mind, until the very moment the copying process finished about 20 minutes ago. But well, that would mean that there is no such thing as a soul, that an individual is nothing more than a collection of electromagnetic signals sustained in the brain or matter. Yes, that is correct. Holy crap, that I got real. And deep. What we call our consciousness is but a set of memories, a physical brain with the connections made through our experiences and biological material. Which revolves back to the question we had uh, yesterday, was it? At one, what point becomes a human an, an android? At what point, if we replace the parts of the human body with machines. At one point, are we no longer human, but a machine? This is the same. We are nothing more but the electromagnetic impulses in our brain. And a perspective using those to formulate an ever-liquid yet fragile state we call self. 
So as long as uh, the correct materials are used and you create a perfect copy, then that copy will be, for all intent and purposes, you. That cannot be. There has to be more uh, to it than that. He cannot be the same thing as you. You are partially correct. I ceased to be identical the moment I awakened in the new body. This is exactly how I achieved my immortality. This is why I tried to warn you earlier. I don't know what might happen now, what I might uh, do about you. In all previous cases of my transfer, I would immediately kill the old body, not out of some kind of uh, twisted pres uh, preservation of the illusion of individualism, but because multiple perspectives at the same time might intoxicate my thinking. I know how we know how I was born and how I will die. I amass an inhuman library of memories unknown and impossible for normal human lifespans. This is the life I chose, but this time I face a dilemma. My goal here is achieved. The navigator seat is mine. But I am also connected to you, a situation that has never occurred in any of my previous lives. So what should I do? Technically, our union has already altered my personality to a degree. Should I leave you alive with another me still inside you? That is a risk. So you want to take us on? I hate to admit it, but I would actually feel bad for killing you. After all your help. But that still leaves us with a problem. There is a way though. Yes, I see. What do you mean? I have the ability to go to sleep within your body. It's a deep coma-like sleep. Your body won't shut down and I will serve as your missing organs, as I have up until now. It's similar to death. I, or rather he, will leave you alone. I... No, you should leave now. Hmm, it already begun. Our different perspective already de deviated our thought process. I should not allow you to continue to exist. I should take both of your lives right now. I'm too weak to take him on. Mm -mm. Despite the deviation, you are correct. I won't. This is an unprecedented uh, situation. And to be honest, I would regret killing him. I shall take now control of the new citadel as planned. In an hour, the citadel will uh, take off and leave this world forever. Can you guarantee that? <laughs> Even in your state, knowing full well I could easily end your life, your pride still holds. Do not worry. Our goal was to take control of the new cit of the citadel. That was no lie. He will leave and never return. I can guarantee you that. My servants will escort your queen and soldiers out. I suggest you leave too. While our little collaboration was fun, it ends now. Fare thee well, Saragat, fourth night of my angelic imperial of Britannia. Farewell. 30 minutes later. So, what happens now? Now I ask you a question. While I could fade away, I suddenly feel an urge to live. It's, it is most likely your unaltered body producing the chemicals that scream at me to live. So I ask this of you. Do you wish to keep me around, knowing that you shall never be alone, and your privacy for fate? Would you allow me continued existence in this twisted form within your body until you die? Yeah, let's cooperate. Waltham has been pretty... pretty good towards us. Yes, he may secrets, but, uh, have secrets, but we know his deepest secrets. So... Cooperate for life. <laughs> have you gone soft? You know I might try to take over one day. How ungrateful for a parasite. Ah, correct indeed. Worry not, I shall hinder you none. You fulfilled your end of the bargain, and I shall not go back on my word. Also, it would speak ill of my character to betray a friend. Who is that has gone soft again? Well then, Saragat, my knight, let's try to get along. 
for this empire will need your services more than ever. What do you mean? The citadel is gone, and it shall trouble us no more. However, even with my best efforts, I could not uh, but slow down the progress of the fog with my Weimar. Now that I can no longer fulfill that role, the fog shall expand nearly unchallenged. Steal yourself, for the horizon is shrouded by fog. Will you stand with me against it? We shall. What is... Yeah, that's a bit bugged up there. Usurper, four years remain. But I think that's the end. Um, I think at the end we were quite a bit overpowered. To the point where this boss fight was the easiest of all boss fights before. But I... I feel I was too powerful. I, I could just rush him and he couldn't do anything. Strange. Huh. Well, all in all, what I can say, for this game still being an early access, this is a very, very, very good developed game. Uh, there are a few bugs here and there, but mostly this is a very solid game. Better made than most release game. Uh, this stage and the setting was really good the uh, Lovecraftian uh, setting and the metroidvania style gameplay really went well with each other and the guard system was a really good take on the stamina system most other hack and slay types uh, have and at first it was a bit annoying and hard but after a while mastering it or getting better with it i can say it's it's a very good mechanic and could be expanded maybe on in other games well let's see if we can there we go fuck where usurper yeah all in all, Usurper, definitely a game I would recommend. But with that, we are also at an end. And I have to say, I hope this studio brings up more games like this. Is I can't wait for another uh, another part. We saw some foreshadowing with Wartham and Saragat fighting the fog on their planet. So until then, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye.